Let's go straight to Jennifer Waddell for this nine in your side crime alert. Guy, the Pima County Sheriff's Department is coming to us asking for help because for months they've been on the lookout for that guy you just showed the picture of, 28 year old Brandon Road, a man who, get this, has already been arrested 40 times. He's only 28. Somehow he keeps slipping away from the long arm of the law. So deputies are hoping you can help nail him once and for all. Not on your side's Marcelino Benito is on alert on the east side tonight. Jennifer, deputies say Brandon Road is violent. They say he can be unpredictable. And tonight they tell us he could be anywhere in our area. Take a good look at this face, an even closer look at his eyes. 28 year old Brandon Road has seemingly disappeared now for seven months. We're, we're very concerned about it because uh, obviously he's putting some energy into evading. Uh, which again shows the criminal energy that he puts behind everything. An arrest warrant has been out for his arrest since early April. He's wanted for a domestic violence assault back in January, but now... There have been additional victims uh, that we know that he has been harassing, and uh, we simply have the sense of urgency that we want to prevent anything else from anything worse from happening. This is just a sampling of his run-ins with law enforcement. Get this, he's been arrested at least 40 times. You name it, deputies say he's probably done it. Theft, criminal damage, trespass, drugs, shoplifting, aggravated assault, trafficking in stolen goods, all on his rap sheet. What do you think when you see such a long rap sheet, 40 arrests since, since 1996? Well, first and foremost, there doesn't appear to be any respect for the law. Uh, here's somebody who has, lives in absolute disregard for the rules of society. This is Rhodes' last known address, a home in a neighborhood on the northwest side. But by the looks of the trash right out front, he hasn't been back in a while. The last known tip to come in, a sighting at a nearby Platinum Fitness. He was always able to get away. Just another dead end that led deputies nowhere. So take another look at the face, a man deputies desperately want to track down before he strikes again. He might escalate his behavior. And for that reason right there, deputies say if you happen to see Mr. Rowe, do not approach him. Instead, call 911 or 88 Crime. We're live from the east side tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kega 9 on your side. Marcelino, you gave us a pretty long list of crimes he's already been connected with, but are there any others? Jennifer, that's really unclear at this point, although deputies do tell me that they believe he is a primary suspect in an ongoing series of investigations. Marcelino, thanks so much. Hopefully somebody recognizes him.